to take you on an adventure. I'm gonna take you guys on a special adventure of where I drew my inspiration for my AR photos. I love photography, but this game in particular really inspired me. So I'm gonna show you one level and then we're gonna go out and take some pictures of our own. But this is Pokemon Snap. And uh, we're gonna have some fun. And remember, after we're done playing this game, we're gonna go outside and get some real world AR shots. So don't think that this whole episode is gonna be about Pokemon Snap, okay? Cool. So before we get going, I wanna show you guys my best shot because I'm really proud of it. That's a perfect shot of a Mew, okay? Just saying. Check. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's go on to the courses. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If anybody has played this game, you're gonna remember this music because it's so weird, but it's so catchy. I don't know, it's weird. you had three things. Pester balls, apples, and the coca flute. So basically throughout the course there's a couple things that you can do. You can also speed up by hitting the Z button. Um, so like these squirrel right here, if I use the pester ball I can get them to run up on the shore here. Adorable. Okay, so that's just an example. Um, also, throughout this course, this specific course, see if you hit the Mankey at the end of the level, um, there will be like a bunch of Mankeys. Okay. And then, so once you, oh, they're the same flash. Ah, there he is. Okay, sweet. So the star use will jump into this whirlpool and a dragonite's supposed to pop out. Oh, or a star me, my bad. But you see, you gotta be quick on the draw with this game. Pokemon Snap, which I think is why I'm so fast with the AR shots now. Um, because, well, see, like that, like stuff will just happen right in front of you. So you have to, like that Goldeen right there. Oh. So you have to be like fast, which is also what you need to be with Pokemon Go. Um, so let's see if I can get a Magikarp oh. <laughs> right before the level's over. So anyway, so that's the end of this level. So let's go tally up the scores. This music, I swear, it's like a nostalgia bomb in your face. So, yeah. Okay, so we got Squirtle. So what you wanna do is, you can only send so many photos to Professor Oak to look at. So I have to pick the best one. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. You don't want to have the Pokemon's eyes closed. You want to have it right in the center. Um, so I think this one's pretty good, actually. A star you. That's pretty good because it's like right in the center. Okay, star me. Yeah, that's the only one I took. So a Dratini. I think I got a pretty good Dratini picture at the end. There. Yeah. Wow. Look at that Dratini picture. If anybody has played Pokemon Snap. You know how hard it is to get this Dratini picture, right? If you've played Pokemon Snap, please tell me in the comments how amazing you think that is, because wow! Boom. So, there's that. Also, this Magikarp picture is pretty awesome, too. Like, look at my previous one. So, that's really, that's like, I don't know how much better you can get for a Magikarp picture in Pokemon Snap. 
Okay, now let's go back to look at the Dragonite pictures. I'm very picky when it comes to photos. I'm also a photographer, so that's why um, I really, as soon as Pokemon Go came out, I was immediately like, Pokemon photography, you know? So, <laughs> that's really good. Uh, I think that's probably the best, because it's like the closest to the center, I think. I don't know, it could be this one though. Mm, probably this, because he's doing the special pose. So let's let's go to Professor Oak and see how he rates them. Yes. Okay. This is something to consider when you're playing Pokemon Go as well. You want to have the Pokemon as big as possible in the photo. Like you don't want a tiny Pokemon in the photo. Also. See, you get extra points for poses. That's why when I take a Pokemon Go photo, I always wait for them to attack. So that way they're not just sitting there being dumb. They're actually like doing something cool. Attacking looks cooler. Yeah, but this one's bigger. Once again, bigger Pokemon always win. Huh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, sorry me. This one's gonna win because it's bigger, see? Oh. Oh, but this one just was jumping out of the water, so the pose was better. Yeah, see, the, the, the special pose gets you a lot of points. This Dratini, though, I'm really proud of this Dratini picture. It is so hard to get a good Dratini picture in Pokemon Snap. playing Pokemon Snap with me. Now that you understand a little bit of my technique behind how I go get AR shots in Pokemon Go, let's go get some AR shots. I think we're gonna have fun. Ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, we're at the park. I figured the park would be a pretty good place to start out our AR picture stuff. So, Let's open up Pokemon Go and see what's around. Okay guys, I see an Abra on the nearby. Abra is actually like one of my favorite Pokemon to try to get an AR picture of because the way that he's posed, you can make him look like he's sitting on something. So let's go over to the other side of the park and see if we can go find him. Aha! Just as I suspected, this is an Abra nest. I saw it rotate, um, and I saw there was like a lot of Abras on the nearby list. So Abra is not usually very abundant in like a nearby, so I immediately was like, that's gotta be an Abra nest. Sure enough, it is. So what we're gonna do is take some cool AR pictures with them. Um, when I'm taking an AR picture, I always look for like, kind of like weird stuff. So for example, this is a mural. And like there's a little bit of exposed brick right here, and I think that's gonna look really cool to have the Abra like sitting inside the bricks. So, let's try it out. pretty good. So, oh yeah, <laughs> I gotta catch it too. There's one other Abra here, so let's see if we can get a different shot. Okay, this is pretty cool. Remember that Abra's 
natural pose is to look like he's sitting on something. So when you're taking AR pictures of him, you want to find a like, flat surface for him to sit on. So, there's a table right here in this mural. Perfect. So see, when you play into the Pokemon's natural pose, it's pretty cool. Sweet. Let's go to a different area and try to find some more Pokemon. Hey guys, so I got some apples so we can actually go play real Pokemon Snap. And just next to me, there was an awesome lady, right? And first of all, I noticed the dog in her backpack, and then I saw she has a Pikachu keychain. That's amazing. Do you love Pokemon? Uh, yeah. She, she loves Pokemon. Everybody loves Pokemon. Go grocery shopping. Pokemon lovers everywhere. And look at this dog. Oh my goodness. So cute. <laughs> all right, guys. That just proves it. Pokemon lovers at the grocery store. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so it started to rain, so I decided to come home because I can come home and play more Pokemon Snap. <laughs> also, I'm hatching more eggs. So, let's play the egg game. Ready? Let's play. What is that? I don't know what that is. That's um. So it must be Gen 2. I'm more familiar with the Gen 1 sounds. Um, it's definitely a really rare Pokemon. So if it's 10K, it must be like a. I'm not sure. <laughs> Larvitar. Wow. Okay. I guess I don't really know Larvitar sounds. Let's appraise it. Oh, uh, it's only like an 80-ish, 80-ish percent Larvitar. That's okay. Hey fam. So I realized I didn't quite teach you guys how to put the Pokemon on like a certain spot because the Pokemon are like all over the place with the AR camera. So I have a couple Pokemon spawning inside my house. So I'm gonna teach you guys like how I put them on like a certain spot. So, um, right now I've got a Sun Kern put the AR on. So I want to put it basically like, let's put them like right between Tora Cat's hands, right? So when you're moving the Pokemon into position, you don't like, I don't know, you don't, you don't tilt the screen, you don't tilt your phone like that. You, you have to like physically move your phone. Like, you basically, Kind of pretend that like the middle of your phone is always pointing towards the Pokemon. So that way, also like where you start the AR matters, okay? So step one is pay attention, like pretend like, remember, pay attention to where the center of your back of your phone is. So if I want the sun current to be right here, I need to point my phone directly here, okay? Then I turn the AR on. Sometimes that happens. If your camera flips like that, just go out and go back in until it fixes itself. Now, you can tilt it to get some more perspective. Okay? Tilting it, you only tilt the camera after you have the Pokemon in the right position. Like, you know, once I've centered Sun Kern right here, then I can tilt the phone. That adds the perspective. And now, the final element is you want to wait for the Pokemon to attack, just to give it some little, you know, flavor. You don't have to do this, but I think that it looks cooler when the Pokemon's attacking. So, we're gonna wait. Oh. So, now, don't move the phone when you take the picture, because see, I was going like this when I took the picture, so it's a little bit blurry. So in order to get the most clear, precise AR photo, you have to wait um, and hold your phone steady. So I'm going to hold it steady and wait for a sun current to jump. And then see, see how clear it is? 
and that's how you take an AR photo, guys. So I hope that you guys had fun. Um, please check out my Instagram photos. I've got an Instagram. It's under the same name, Pokemon Master Holly, spelled the exact same way as my YouTube. Check that out. If you guys like it, please, you know, give me a like and a thumbs up. And also, you know, follow me and all that good stuff. And if you guys have some cool AR photos, you know, like, tag me or something in your photos on Instagram and I'll come check them out. Okay? So good luck taking your AR photos and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys!